I'm back in the shed again and um, it's a um, horrible night out there quite cold as well but thought I'd venture out into the shed and do something a couple of little jobs to do one is this um, it's the older HRB 536C um, good memories uh, these bring back to me um, it's the first sort of decent decent mower I sort of ever owned one of these um, it was a version I think these were re sort of the version before the HRX 537 um, they moved on from the lighter grey to the darker grey um, bases and um, we're st I'm still using the HRX's today and my partner she likes to use them but the purpose of this one what I want to do I've had this in my unit for quite a while I've got one for spares as well um, is a Christmas present for my dad um, he's setting his ways he liked the old ones and I suppose I'm setting the ways now I've gone a little bit more modern than this but then I still like the the older sort of um, the traditional sort of Honda types like that and the HRX and some of them are getting quite old now they still I still make them but they've changed a few things on them now and um, I forget the years I'm running but they're probably some of them probably 2007 2008 uh, I guess but um, so I was thinking I had this um, the main problems with these were the deck used to uh, um, crack there something they sort of sorted out on the HRX the decks were a lot stronger and um, this one I wouldn't have pursued it if it um, had a crack in the deck but I don't think it has so um, I will just double check it the deck looks pretty good to be honest it doesn't look like a very hard life the wheels are a bit worn that one's a bit worn but that one's very very worn uh, I don't know how well you can see in there, but I'll tell you, there you can see it's worn right through the rubber. Well, I think I might have some wheels. I've got a couple of spare mower, but there's a different design than these. I think I took some off an easy 21 inch easy, and I think they could be the same. I'm 100% sure, but I will try to track them down wherever they are. They're either in my little tin shed out there or in the lean to next door. So um, I should have a look probably tomorrow now, but um, usually the engine's okay. If it's not got bent crank or something, the blade is off. So I'm a little bit concerned about that because I know nothing about this, but I've got engines for it. These are the 160s. They put the um, the 190s on the HRX, the newer HRX ones. So I've got loads of these because they fit them on the smaller mowers as well, like the HR hrb 476 and oh quite a few so i've got quite a few of these engines I've, uh, so an engine isn't a problem uh, the drive is a little bit more of an issue if the drive's um, poor and they did suffer with the drive i have got a drive over there in between the thing i think i've got a drive what we do there but i'm not sure how good it is but i have got the other spare mile which a drive could be okay on that but I don't know, the one could well be good on here. There's definitely an issue there. Yeah, so if you stick with me, hopefully I can find the spanner nice and quick so I haven't got to turn the camera off. Yep, we've got 14, 14 mil there. I knew I'd do that, put it on the wrong way around. It was already loose. So we'll have a look and see what mess is in there. They could, um, uh, make a difference of how much work I've actually got to do. Something has fell out, the circlip has fell out and the cog has fell off and the cog is the cog is sharp. I, see that's worn right down. I have got cogs but they're worn but not as worn as this and usually what happens when it wears that out it does wear the cogs on the back of the wheel out so that's why i'm hoping i've got these other wheels i shall probably i'm getting a bit late for christmas now but if i ordered them monday i'd probably get these new cogs uh, before um before christmas it just depends what damage is it done on there uh doesn't look really i'm really focus a bit it has chewed up a little bit but well, there's a bearing for the wheel i might just stand there at the moment and there's a little if i can turn it around i've worked on these a lot so i sort of know them pretty pretty well but there's only a limit oh that is still a minute mate. Right? there's only a limit on how much i'm going to actually do on this one 
they actually fitted this drive on a HRD four wheeler, the four wheel one. They put uh, their trying to find the squeal. They're fairly rare. Them ones are fairly rare in the UK. The HRD four wheelers. They're always usually the roller ones. But I actually had an HRD for a long time and used it. And when I got it, the drive the drive was no good. But I actually had picked up a drive off eBay, a brand new one. So um, the brand new drive went on that. Um, I've got to get the circlet removed to get rid of that, but the drive sort of slipped through a bit. But I'm hoping that that was the issue. I re they have been using it on one wheel, I reckon, because this side dropped, they've just been letting it, because uh, you can see it's been used. You can see it's worn in there. But that is a massive problem if the wheel could still be okay. But with the bearings in that look like they're, that one's got a bit of wear in it, but they don't look, I've seen them a lot worse than that. And underneath is clean, but I don't know why the blade is off it, but the blades, I've got some um, new aftermarket blades. Front wheels are a little bit, um, uh, a little bit loose and bored. It looks to me like it's been used, could have been used on them um, for picking up leaves and stuff on sort of, I reckon it's been on concrete quite a lot of his life. And you know, people have gone on sidewalks and um, or pay up paths and that. So um, yeah, that's what I reckon it's happened. But I'll have to see what the problem with that drive is pulling through there. Um, I have had to do a little, um, I think I'd put a video up. I had to do a little conversion sort of thing. Uh, and drill the shaft the other side to stop it slipping through. That was on one of my HRXs, and that's still going well to this day. And um, to stop it, because it kept pinging through and pulling off that circlet there. So I might have to do that on this one, which isn't a problem because it's behind there. There's a nice little metal bit where it can this um, you can sort of put a washer and then put a, a split pin. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I drilled, uh, you drill a hole through and put a split pin, and it'll stop it, mo stop it moving. Um, I think I might have to do that. The other, no, I would have to do it this side. I'd push that through and then put that through. But anyway, I'll, I'll, uh, it was a while ago I did that, so I have to remember totally how I did it. But yeah, this will be the start, and it'll just, uh, and I'll see. Firstly, I've got to sort of set that up so I can at least try it. The carbon actually is all on here, so I don't know. It's got the recoil rope there. Everything sort of looks in pretty neat. And the handles haven't had a lot of wear. So it looks like it's it's just, it's a bit deceiving with the wheels, how um, full they are, but the mower's in pretty good nick. So yeah, I was thinking uh, it wouldn't be about clean it all up. So I'm shine up the plastic a little bit and that's a good little present for him. He keeps moaning he hasn't got a decent mower. So it would be a half decent mower because these are all right. I, I did a lot of work with these in the past. I think the one I bought was second hand, that was 400 pounds, but that was in about 2005. And the model of this one is, okay, we're upside down, it's the 2001. So it is a 17 year old mower. The cables are all good as well. It's always a good sign all of that as well. So it's just a matter of sorting out this, um, let's drive and actually i've got spares for it because i kept all the spares off the old ones when i used to um mess around with the old ones i had because i did deck changes and all that years ago on them so um as per usual web technology lets me down the battery ran out on the on the phone so i'm on the ipad now hopefully i've got the video to the end of the last one i was explaining about this drive wheel well all i've done it's pretty simple I've just put it back together really. I've put a new clip, a circle clip underneath underneath that cog. And then if you just look in the top there, the focus is really poor at the minute. There we are. There you can see like a little um keyway, and that's on a spring, and that's all working as it should. So then what I did after then, I haven't put the top washer on or the top circle clip at the moment. But I have to check this, but I'll show you. I'm never quite sure what way the wheels go. So that one was right. So that wheel pushes easy back and harder forward. So that and that one's the same. Because you can get the, you can, I hope we don't pull it off. You can get the cog on the opposite way. It's them little bits there. You can get that the opposite way. So it's running the wrong way. Um, but 
it's all looking okay. There's no um, seepage from the from the actual um, hydrostatic unit, so that's a good sign. Um, that's what I said before. What happens when these pull through? Sometimes you struggle to get the circle clip to hold back on that top one properly. So what I did on the other one was drilled a hole through centrally there and put a, um, a split pin through, just so it didn't catch, so it'd run round. And then that, even if that's, uh, it, it, it takes a pressure off that, um, well, off both the um, circle clips on there. So that might be what I do on here. I'll just see how good it fits when I put a new one on. But that takes the pressure off because you can just hold it through as far as you can. Just lift it through as far as you can so it's it's up. And then just drill through there. And then it can't go back. And I've been using an HRX for a year like that. So um, if not, you're talking uh, throw the mower away. I'll spend about three or four hundred pounds on a new on a new unit. And there's probably nothing wrong with it. But there is that's all the sort of hold in it because it's a little bit spring loaded. So, um, yeah, so if you just, um, like I said, just put a split pin through there, that'll do the job. It'll hold it, hold it in place. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to put that top washer in. I think, I don't know whether the top washer was in there, but I've got another, oh yes it was, it's there. It's stuck in the wheel. And then that just goes on there, but it's well worn. If you see that, it's worn. It's rubbed right through, so I'll get another one of them. And then I'll just put a new uh, circle on because I've got a box of them. I bought a load of them um, when I was fixing one of the HRXs or something. I'll put the old wheel on at the moment, see how it goes. But sometimes what you get on these, you get clicking when they when the cogs wore or cogs start to wear or the cog in there starts to wear. So um, that can be a few things. It can be the cog, it can be the wheel, or it can be if you've got play through that metal bit there where the shaft goes through and what it is you have in there you have um just checking that's all good and we might have a slight crack there no i don't know i don't think we have um and um yeah there's like some little bushes like some little plastic bushes that go through and they can see there a little bit of play on there probably not enough that isn't but um, I kept replacing wheels on my HRX and that kept happening and when I replaced them it, it fixed the problem in the bushes so and the bushes aren't cheap, they're about twenty twenty pound um for both sides, so I think a bit more than that even and there's nothing to them really but Well I've got it all sort of back together the drive the wheel side of things. Um I took the other side off and um just give it some WD forty but the cog isn't brilliant that side. I think I might just purchase uh, cogs for both sides if the drive works okay I'll test that tomorrow um, as for the rest of the mower I've checked the oil and the oil is oh, like new so that does sort of back up to this mower I don't think it's done a massive amount of work really and it's been fairly well looked after I just got their wheels I'm not happy with that that can be a job near the end when I check everything's okay but I'm gonna to have to do something to make them better um, on this actually it must have been part of the change from this type of mower to the HRX because the um, blade brake is the same as the HRX. Um, the earlier ones of these had a like a round, like a round sort of piece of, um, with two sort of little brake pads on it. Um, totally different system to the, on this, so um, this must have been part of the um, change. Um, so um, yeah, so that's good because um, the blade brake system on the HRX was better than on the on these ones. So that's got the better one on this. So they must have over on a change. They must have went to a different um, system. So um, yeah, and I put both the handlebars on there. Uh, to be honest, if it's all good for my dad for Christmas, I might even leave them on there like that because he's not going to be taking it in and out of a car all the time. So rather than them, them sort of bits getting loose. You just tighten up with the nylocks and that's I'll just cut that off and that'll keep that nice and solid all the time. So I'll probably leave it like that. As for a grass bag, um I, he's got a mow, another mower the same. My brother picked up much the same as this, but it's it had a blade break uh, problem and also the um it wasn't the hydrostatic, it was a two gear, which a hydrostatic's much nicer. So um that's why I'm sorting out there trying to sort out this one for him. Um, I think you can actually replace the tyres on these wheels. 
I think they do actually lift off and then you can just seal them round and then put them back on but I'll have to see about that the only one that's not too bad is the one that I, hasn't been working or I mean, it's just been on there free and not working for a long time so um, it's the only thing I'm a bit worried about it might have put, run on one wheel on the drive it might have been putting strain on the drive but we shall know tomorrow as soon as I start it up and it's running for a few minutes so I shall soon know whether it's um, the drive's any good or not then I can I find a blade, I need some blade bolts, so I'll find some of them. I might possibly have some in the drawer over there. Put any old blade on as long as it's straight for a start, just to check that there's no shaking or anything. I'll, then it'll be basically a clean up, um, new recoil, new plug, air filter cover. I've got a fire, I'm sure I've got one of them. Air filter, um, the oil can stay because the oil's really good. So, um, uh, I might have said it will change a minute ago, but I ain't gonna have that because they're so good. And then uh, it doesn't currently have a spark plug in it either, so I don't know what that's all about. But um, anyway, um, it could well be a good one, and if it is, that I think that'll be a nice little um, Christmas present for him, really. Um, and then he can get rid of the old relic sort of mowers which he's wanted to repair for years and never got round to it. And you can just have one um, sort of decent one, so. Um, anyway, I'll leave that video here at the moment, uh, and I'll be back on it tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't rain anymore, and I can try that. And I want to try that one out as well, because I'd want to check the drive's good on that. I've done a bit of work on that. Um, so, yeah, check the drive's good on that. So we'll have to, we'll have to see how the weather's like in the morning. So